Hi guys, it's Danny from Inglorious Fishing, and today we're turbot fishing up at the back at Sark at a sandbank called Cody. So I hope you enjoy the trip up here. Stay tuned, here it comes. engine run down at that little cool down period I'm just letting some line out I've got a small little mackerel on at the moment so hopefully we're targeting turbo Raymondo's grill anything like that so hopefully we get one guys so stay tuned I'm gonna get the rods out and I'll get you back on well guys we're out here we had no bites as such yet uh, the tide's still running a bit low we'll just check it now see if it's gone up no it's still ain't we've got basically a slack water so I've got uh, some ray baits out in hope for a Ray Mondo. You might get the odd turbo Wervo, but who knows. Anyway, we're going to keep trying. Hopefully persist. And hopefully you get one of these fantastic fish. So stay tuned. It's in glorious. Fish on, guys. Something on here. Some weight here, guys. Right. Definitely some weight here. Yeah. Hopefully it's not weed. Feels like a fish. Eastern Definitely. Dawn, Whoa. Dawn. This is you nice bend on the rod. Is it a rain mondo? Is it a turbo wervo? Come on guys, it should be here any second. Good bend on the rod. Here it comes. Good bend on the rod. Yeah, it's a turbot. That is a nice turbot. See you guys. First fish. Turbo Werbo, baby. We're happy with that. That's what we came up for. About four or five pound turbot, that. Lovely fish. Took the small mackerel that I put on. Look at that for a hook up. Beautiful, there's no tide still neither, so I'm surprised I had it. Beautiful turbot that, on the small mackerel. Prime fish, didn't even see the rod go and just went to reel it in, bam, had it. So stay tuned, we're gonna get back down. I'll give you a better glimpse of the fish. Great start, glorious fishing. My 
Well guys, that was a great start. First drop and we've got one. So I'm gonna get my uh, upper rod down first. Just get that as a bait in the water. We came up to the upper part of it and triple drift down onto it. So stay tuned, hopefully we can get a bigger one. It's inglorious. Well guys, I'll just give you a quick glimpse of the bait. Now look, these are some mackerel which I've caught. I caught these yesterday actually. These are from the previous video. And all I'm doing is scoring lines on them either side, about six lines like that. Let the juices come out and literally just through the mouth, through the top of the head, have the hook come through it. And that's how I caught the last turbot. So hopefully, put the same on, same hook, same rod. We'll do it again, baby. Stay tuned. Oh, guys, just fishing with the feathers. See if we get some fresh bait while we're at it. I think I've put it on here. I'll just have one little sand deal. Nice little lord. And got a couple here. Couple of sand eels there, guys. Prime bait. Beautiful for turbot. They absolutely love sand eels. Wow. Just hooked me. They're good if you um, flapper them as well, guys. Very good bait when you flapper them. Um, always good to have plenty of bait. Put that in its live well. Put that over the side. Go back down. See if we can get some more. It's on. I didn't know if he was on at first. I think there's a fish on. It's not big fish. Oh, hold up. Things have gone a bit light there, guys. Oh no, there's something there. something on it guys that's for sure look he's let go we'll get him back now whatever it is was on it may have been a dog fish something like that anyway let's hope we get another one the tie's picked up now Well guys, it's a bit slow going. Um, we haven't really got a lot of tide here, like 0.3 at the moment. And really you need at least a knot for turbot fishing. Knot to a knot and a half of tide to allow you to pass the fish. But uh, yeah, we still hooked into one first, the first drift. So the bait did go on the next drift. So hopefully, hopefully we hook into a few more. So stay tuned and I'll try and get us into one. It's a lovely day. Beautiful day. It's inglorious. Well guys, I went for another drift. Something took my bait, but I didn't manage to hook up. But something a bit different. I just seen the tuna jump out the water. Oh yeah. Wouldn't mind catching one of them, that's for sure. Bluefin tuna, they're around the Channel Islands at the moment. Another fella just seen it, that's up here. Oh, wish I had a rod for it. Anyway, stay tuned, hopefully we get some more flatties. Hopefully a Brillo Willow. on guys I don't know what looks like a turbo dead weight have a look seen the rod go bam bam I thought oh yeah bit of slack hopefully it's not a doggy it's not heavy heavy so hopefully it's not a dog Feels like a turbo to me. For sure. Great bend in the rock, guys. Is it a turbo or is it a dog? I'm hoping turbo or brill will be even nicer. Nice pressure on this. Good bend in the rod. 
Sorry, the, the rock. Oh, it's a lovely. Oh, it's a lovely turbot. It's ginormous. Oh, no, guys. No, guys. There we are. I thought he spat me up there. Check this out. That's on the filleted launch, guys. Aye, aye. That's a 10 pound turbot, easy. Check that out, guys. Check that out for a fish. What a hookup. Beautiful. That's a lovely slab. That's got to be a 10 pound, eight to 10 pound turbot, that. Beautiful, hooked up in the mouth. That was lovely. Oh, well, guys, we get this on hook, we'll get you a better show. It's in glorious fishing, that's how we do it. I don't know if you can see that, guys. Check that out for a hookup. Straight in the gob there. Beautiful hookup. Size 3 0 hook. Anyways, look at the little teeth in the mouth. Stay tuned. Get it unhooked. Get your better show. Don't know if there's a fish on this, guys. It's a possible fish. Oh, hold up. There's some weight there. Not a lot of weight, but there's definitely some weight. Oh, could it be another little turtle? Oh, whatever it is, just come off, I think. Just let go. Possibly a dog, then. Definitely weight there at the start. Yeah, let go a bit. Anyway, like I said, stay tuned, we're gonna go up there. We're gonna make another drift of it. It's inglorious. Well guys, we've got the rods out again. Cracking little session so far. I mean, been up here three hours, don't get me wrong. Three, four, about three hours we've been up here. Like, from actually arriving, not including the trip up. And, uh, yeah, 10 pound turbot, five pound turbot. You ain't gonna muck around with that. Stay tuned, hopefully we get some more, baby. Well guys, look at this, you can't beat this. Dark Herm, Jetu, Brecker in the background. Rod's out, baby. Turbot on the deck. Love it. Other fishermen with you. You can't beat this, guys. What a lovely Saturday, a Sunday afternoon. Anyway, like I said, stay tuned. And hopefully you get a few more of those poppies. Woo! Well, guys, I've just seen Markins down there. I was like, oh, I've got to get the feathers down there. I think we hooked into a mackerel. Oh, we've got a few of them, I think. Is it just the one? Yeah, we've got a few. Oh, what's just dropped off? Four mackerel there. Well, three now, but there was four. This is what I'm using as bait, guys. You see, this is what's all what you're getting at the sunbank. Use it as bait, because I can guarantee you, nine times out of ten, that's what the turbot are going to be fishing on. Mackerel. Yep, fish on. Could be a sand eel this time, guys. If it is, that's what I want, a sand eel. Who's a sand eel? Come on. Give me a couple of greens. Yeah. There's the sand eel, guys. That's what we want. Nice big green. Use that as bait in a bit. Get off the hook. There we go, guys. Just popping on. Sand eel and a mackerel, maybe. Or it could just be sand eels. In fact, we'd probably go with sand eels because it's not fighting that hard. Sand eels. What we need, guys, and they're hooked in the mouth. That's what we want. Oh, he's just gone! <laughs> he just went back overboard one of the sand eels, guys. Bugger. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. They come off and they flip over. Great escape artists. Well, guys, fish on. Live sand eel this time. Feels like a turbot. Dead weight. Oh yeah. Oh, 
go, guys. Definitely feels like a turbo. No. What the hell is that? Look at that, guys. I thought it was a turbo. It's a bass. Oi, oi. Lovely bass there. Beautiful fish. Look at that. I just started bringing it up. That's a fine bass. Beautiful bass that. Lovely fish. Oi, oi. What a day it's been. Beautiful. Anyway, I just had that on the spin up. What a bass aruna. That's a cracking fish. Look at that. Shiner. Basso wasso, baby. That's how we do it on Inglorious Fishing. Anyway, stay tuned, I'll get you some back picks. What a show. Possible fish on, guys. I don't know. Maybe not now. Not sure on this one. Oh, not this guy. I don't know what's happened here. There's a cockpit, guys. Go on. Make sure it inks because I don't want that on the boat. Anyway, stay tuned, I'll let it ink and I'll give you a glimpse. Guys, big fish on. Big fish. So either a ray or a flatty. We didn't want to come off the bottom. We have to take this easy. There's a massive bend in the rod, look. I need to concentrate here though. This is big. This definitely didn't want to come up. This is on the sand eel launch, guys. Just a sand eel flapper. This is big. This is really big. Sorry about this, guys. It's in that corner again. There it goes. Whoa! Big turbot, big brill, big flatty. I don't want it to break. It's a big ray. It's a big ray, guys. It's a big blonde. Oh, guys. Hope I don't lose it, guys. And it's in the bag. Check that out. Lovely blonde ray there, guys. It just broke my net. Oh no! The net's now broken, guys. That was. 
As soon as I hooked up, I knew it's either a ray or a flatty because it just wanted to stay down the bottom. It's not as big as my old, um, my other blonde ray that I got, but hey, it's still a cracker of a fish. Gotta be a 10 pound ray, that, if not more. So, look him. There we are, guys. That's him unhooked. Look at that for a lovely ray, guys. It's about ten pound that for sure. A lovely blonde ray. Anyway, we'll be releasing this blonde ray. We don't keep these, so stay tuned, and I'll get you a, a release hopefully. Some glorious fishing. What a day! What an absolute day, baby. That's how we do it. Well, guys, this ray's full of life. So I'm going to let it get back straight away. Go on, baby. And look at it go down. Straight down to the depths. You can't beat that for a release, baby. Look at it. What a fish. Anyway, stay tuned. Hopefully we get some more turbo werbos, baby. Whoa, I'm ecstatic. Guys, I've got serious fish on. Serious fish on. On my mackerel gear. It didn't want to come off the bottom. Bit another ray. Serious fish here today, guys. <laughs> ah, maybe not, guys. Check that out. Snagged in someone else's line that's banged off before. We got a nice weight out of it. Anyway, that'll be what it was. Stay tuned, we'll get down for another drift. So guys, time's getting on now. Look, that blonde ray was a nice surprise that. I said to Jay from Smurf Fishing that I'd probably get a couple of ray today when it went slack. But anyway, we still got some turbot lines out. Uh, probably got another I don't know, half hour, three quarters an hour that I can fish here, then I'm going to have to start making my way in, guys. So stay tuned, and hopefully we get you one more. It's been glorious. Got a couple of knocks then, guys, on this rod. Going to let some slack out. I always count to ten seconds. Let some slack out. Might just be because the ground's a bit rough. We'll soon find out. Just let that tighten up by itself. Wait to see if you can feel some weight. Bang into it. Here we go, it's starting to tighten up. Can't really feel a lot of weight there. Give it a go anyway. Thought I had one then guys. Fortunately not, so we'll just put it straight back down. Let it do a thing. So guys, that's another episode of Inglorious Fishing. We came up to Godine, we came for Raymondos, Turbot and Brillo Willows. We got a 10 pound Turbot, um, a Blonde Ray which was just over 10 pound, uh, another Turbot of about 5 pound and a Bass of about 5 pound. So all in all, not a bad day. Oh, and a Cottlefish and a few Mackerel, so not a bad day in all. Anyway, I hope you liked it guys, I hope you liked my channel, like and subscribe. I'm going to start making our journey in. It's a glorious fishing. Hope you enjoyed it, guys.
Hi right, guys, well, that was another trip out of an inglorious fishing. Didn't too bad, we went out for the turbot and the rays and the brill. And we ended up with two turbots. Two lovely turbot there. One's about five and I'd say the other's about eight, ten. And uh, we had that blonde ray of just over 10, 12 pound. We got a lovely bass. It's about five pound that. So all in all, not a bad day. Oh, and the cuttlefish. So there he is, Mr. Cuttlefish. Can't forget him. Anyway, all in all, not a bad day. Bit hectic, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you guys do too as well. So anyway, if you like the channel, like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more fishing. And maybe we'll get a big Bruno Willow next time. Stay tuned, guys. It's inglorious fishing. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest videos.